Hi, in this video I will give you advice and show how you can improve the safety in your company and reduce injuries using IT. Fast and easy, so stay tuned! I believe most of you know the safety triangle or Heinrich's accident triangle which compares the frequency of different types of incidents ranging from unsafe behaviors and hazards to serious injuries or fatalities. Statistics show that for every 10,000 of unsafe behaviors and hazards, there is likely to be one serious injury or fatality. Companies make a common mistake by looking too much into this area of the triangle, that is the injuries. They take them very seriously, they make a thorough investigation, look into the reasons and find corrective measures. But injuries keep happening. This is because this area of the triangle, that is the minor incidents and observed unsafe behaviors, are not looked into and often go undocumented and not analyzed. The question is how can we prevent serious injuries and fatalities from happening in the first place? The solution is simple. We have to reduce the area of the triangle. That is, we have to reduce the amount of unsafe behaviors and hazards by documenting them, analyzing and preventing from happening in the future. Let's assume you want to do that. You find a near-miss registration form on the internet, you make a procedure and implement it in your company. Or maybe you already have such system in place. But this method does not work as we would like to. Try to imagine a safety inspector, a project manager or engineer. He's working on site, it's cold, it's raining, he's carrying a lot of tools with himself and on top of that he has to carry a bunch of paper forms and a pen to register unsafe behaviors and hazards. It is no surprise that practice shows that many of these unsafe behaviors and hazards are never recorded because it's simply unpractical to do so. Or let's take another example. Suppose that in fact the employees are very active and submit a lot of reports to the safety manager of unsafe behaviors. What happens is that the safety manager has a lot of paper forms on his desk. In order to analyze, take corrective and preventive actions, it takes a lot of time for the safety manager to put them into Excel and to process them correctly. It is no surprise then that most of these forms end up in dusty folders. We would like to show you how you can change it and improve this process significantly, which will give you tangible benefits right away. If your company already has Office 365 license, that means you automatically have access to these tools of Microsoft such as Power Apps, Power BI, SharePoint and OneDrive. And with these tools you can create systems very quickly and very easily. We would like to show you our example, which we did in just a matter of a few days. Using Microsoft Power Apps, we created a mobile application for near-miss and hazard reporting. Now the project managers don't have to use paper forms at all. They just open the app, choose near-miss hazard registration and fill the necessary information. That is, the incident date and location, case type, priority, title and description and choose the risks and actions that have to be taken in order to eliminate those risks. If it's required to share this information, there's an option to put the email address of the client or site manager. Also, you can attach photos to the message. When the form is filled and saved, all information is immediately registered on an Excel sheet in OneDrive for later analysis and is then sent to all involved persons by email with the photos attached. Then we took the Microsoft Analytic Tool Power BI, connected the data source stored on the Excel sheet and developed extensive reports and charts. On the accident report sheet, the safety manager is able to see all the basic safety information concerning lost time injuries and hazard observation. Hey, and there's our safety triangle too. The next sheet shows a brief analysis of near-miss and hazard reporting. Here, the safety manager can see all reports and filter the information according to priority and risks. He can check which risks are commonly reported and immediately develop preventive actions to eliminate them. Also, there's a possibility to compare monthly historical values and see the locations where they were reported on a map. And there's more. The safety manager doesn't need to spend any more time collecting data in order to prepare a monthly safety report to the management. The report is available with the click of a button for any chosen time period. And finally, you will get the following benefits. First. Your employees will be able to report near misses simply and easily, which means they will be more likely to report it. Then you will get the report instantly in your mailbox. And that means you can take corrective and preventive actions right away. That's it for this video. If you like it and would like to get tips and tricks how to make similar solutions yourself using Office 365 tools, please subscribe to our LinkedIn and YouTube channels and we will be posting more shortly.